Jeff's birthday tonight, he's two. In robot years, that means he's... 384. All right. <laughs> so, we thought it'd be a, I thought it'd be a great idea if, you know, if I, um, if I invited Jeff's ex-girlfriend and <laughs> heterosexual experiment, uh, <laughs> Alex, to come over and, you know, and wish him happy birthday, and we got him a hat, and uh, things have gotten a little weird. <laughs> Look like a gay wizard. Wait, 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 wait. They have straight wizards? I know. Yeah. So, uh, things being awkward, are you and Jeff, you know? A little bit. Yeah? Yeah, because Jeffrey Dean Morgan's on the show tonight. Yeah? Yeah, and I kind of have a crush on him. <laughs> a little Would that bit. that be because his first name is Jeffrey? <laughs> Is it that or because he's handsome and human and, uh, and alive? Yeah. Partially. 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 And yeah. he's a little bit more brawny than Jeff. Yeah? Yeah. I'm standing right here. <laughs> See, this, this is why it got awkward, because all Alex can talk about is why Jeff is unattractive to her. <laughs> but Jeff, it was an experiment anyway, and, you know, you're gay, it was your heterosexual experiment, and, you know, you tried it out and it didn't work. Yeah, I think the fact that I also have no genitals was a problem. <laughs> was that a problem in your relationship? A little bit, yeah. yeah. So, what you're, so what you're saying is, that's what you require? <laughs> yeah. Man. I'm very shallow. Yeah, I, yeah. I feel awkward. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave you guys to, you know, figure things out on your own. I'll go and head over, uh, I don't know, NBC or something. <laughs> Yeah, Alex, you want to go figure things out? Oh, okay. Backstage? Works every time. <laughs> what do you say? Works every time. What works every time? What I just did there. <laughs> what, want to go and work things out? But saying it in that weird kind of creepy way? Like, want to go and work things out? Ooh, you want to go backstage? <laughs> I can't believe it. It worked right there. Absolutely. Oh, do you two guys want to go and work things out? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Best commercial break for me ever. We'll be right back. <laughs> with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Kia Motors and the Sorrento Crossover. Learn more at Kia.com. starts to sound a little sarcastic. <laughs> so sit down and stop with the passive-aggressive. Oh, we're so happy to see you. <laughs> we're just delighted we didn't get into The Price is Right. <laughs> I know how to read disappointment in someone's face. I've seen it so many times before. <laughs> it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed. It's, it's a very strange day in Baltimore. The saga of this, uh, this lottery thing continues. The woman who says she bought the winning Mega Millions ticket now says she's hidden it inside the McDonald's where she works. <laughs> this is like the dumbest plan I've ever heard. 
Don't you already know there is a Hamburglar inside that <laughs> building? <laughs> it's a great day if you wear glasses. <laughs> like, every nerd in America just went, what? Because Google announced uh, they're, they're making something called Google Glasses. This is true. They're like regular glasses, but they've got embedded technology. <laughs> Neither do I. But <laughs> apparently it makes your eyes go all googly or something. Now, no, they, what they do is that they, these glasses, they project data onto the lenses in front of your eye. Isn't that like, I can see the guy with the glasses there. He's like, he's like shut up. <laughs> like, yeah. He's like, no way. I'm like, yeah, way. <laughs> they, what they do is they project it, uh, like, on your, it's like, and like with any new technology, I have two important questions. Uh, uh, one, how soon can I get them? And B, um, can I use them for pornography? <laughs> Watching pornography. Now, I won't get Google Glasses. Call me old-fashioned, but I prefer to hold two iPhones over my eyes like that while I'm, <laughs> while I'm driving and texting and other such things. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Google Glasses don't have the technology I want in, in glasses, though. I want X-ray vision. Come on, Google! I remember ordering the, the X-ray glasses from the back of comic books when I was a kid. I was very excited used to say X-ray glasses, these glasses with the big swirly things on them. I was like, oh, awesome! I was very excited. Then they never did what you wanted them to do, which is see naked people. It's like, and, unless your definition of X-ray is having red and white cardboard circles in front of your eyes, they don't work. They never worked until I wore them to a strip club. Yes. Then, then they worked great. I could see everything. And those guys were gorgeous. <laughs> and with my glasses on, they thought I looked smart. <laughs> Somebody once said, men rarely make passes at girls who wear glasses, which I don't think is true at all. I, I love a woman in glasses. I think it's very attractive. <laughs> Gla you know, glasses that kind of says, naughty librarian. <laughs> kind of like the glasses and the hair, the pencil, the kind of, oh, let me get your dickens. <laughs> oh, I think, oh, uh, can I hold your ball, Zach? <laughs> they, uh... <laughs> and Google glasses as well, what they do is they, uh, they, uh, they allow you, <laughs> this is true, they put the glasses on and you can give orders by voice command to your glasses. It's like having an intern on your face. <laughs> Bill Clinton's already ordered too. <laughs> I'd like the X-ray ones as well. Can I have the X-ray ones too? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are freaked out by the Google Glasses. You know, th it's, this is true. It's very ironic, but there is a, there's a, 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 a group. Yes, that's what they're called, a group. <laughs> there are, there, there, people have formed a group online to stop the new technology. An online group to stop new technology. I'm like, doesn't anybody see the irony here? <laughs> the people are afraid that computers are taking over the world, and I'm like, Look around. Look what humans have done. Let the computers take over the world. <laughs> Why not? They've already enslaved me with their mind-controlling angry birds. <laughs> have, you seen, have you seen Angry Birds Space? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> it is! It's like... I want that on my Google glasses. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the protesters are saying that Google is underestimating the dangers of merging man with machine. And I say, well, you're a little too late to stop that half man, half cyborg thing. They're already here. One of them just captured the Republican nomination. <laughs> Anyway.
Anyway, the protesters are forgetting about the cool stuff that can happen when man merges with a machine. I merged with a machine once. Once. <laughs> once, yeah, once. And slowly starting to talk actually like Sean Connery anyway. <laughs> I'm just starting to talk like him. I didn't mean to do it, and I'm sure I, some people are taken over by cyborgs. I'm taken over by an impression of Sean Connor. <laughs> That's what happened. No, oh, I, I merged. I, <laughs> I merged with a machine once, and that machine was a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> It's a, it's a joke. Oh, lighten up. It's a joke. I... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One of those vacuum cleaners with the proper amount of suction. <laughs> Don't... You, excite, you excited about this uh, Google Glasses thing? Are you going to get them? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you mean, oh, yeah? I was still thinking about you merging with them. Oh, <laughs> knock it off. Don't, don't. If you start talking like that, the sensor will notice we're being rude. But then we'll talk about it after the show. We always talk like that, but what happens after the show is that I unplug you, your eyes go dark, and I leave. And I love it. <laughs> well, when I unplug you or when your eyes go dark? Take your pick, sailor. This <laughs> is <laughs> safe. Take your pick, sailor? <laughs> Indeed I did. <laughs> what the hell, man? I'm just feeling very nautical today. Yeah, I can see that. All right, well, you want to do the thing? I'd love to. All right, do it then. And also the commercial. Yeah, 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 very good. <laughs> Tonight's program is brought to you by Late Late Show Goggles. Put them on during the show and you'll forget you're watching Total Crap. <laughs> I'm glad, you I'm glad you took your hat off. I like it better when I can see your metal shard. If I had a nickel for every time I heard that. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. You having a nice birthday so far? Oh, man, I'm having a great time. Yeah, yeah, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I'm standing here uh, talking to you. <laughs> you do that every night, though. Yeah, but tonight it's particularly great. Why? Because I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> Neither am I. I know. All right, uh, this is from Taylor in Seattle. Oh, no, we better do the thing. But what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's tweet mill time. Yeah, all right. This is from... Uh, <laughs> do you want to do a jingle? Nah, nah. Do you want to do a jingle? What do we think? A jingle? We can make up our own jingle. Oh, let's do our own jingle. Yeah, yeah. With the mouth organs. Yeah, sure, no. why not? All right, OK. It's tweet mail time. It's tweet mail time. <laughs> it's tweet mail time. <laughs> there you go. Thanks, everybody. This is, uh, this is from Taylor in Seattle, Washington. You ever been to Seattle? Oh, yeah, there? I got a place got a there. Yeah, I love it, love it, uh, love it. Just love it. <laughs> Taylor says, uh, hi, Craig and Jeff. I just found out my girlfriend has a key to my apartment, but I never actually gave her one. Should I be concerned? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that means she's had, uh, she had to do that thing where they uh, take a wax impression. And if she's taken a wax impression of your key, what else has she taken a wax impression of? <laughs> I'm implying your penis. Do you think that's possible? To oh. take a wax impression of someone's penis while they're asleep? Oh, yeah, I've had it done. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> this is from Felicia in Portland, Oregon. You ever been to Portland, oh, Oregon? Got a little Portland, place there? I like to see like cranes there. From, but I don't know. Naked. A nice, uh, nice, nice museum down by the really waterfront yeah. there. And then there's that, that sure, great uh, place know. where you yeah, can get the baguette. Somebody kill me, shoot me down. Dear Craig and Jeff, uh, a classmate very obviously cheats off me during exams. Should I call him out in front of everyone? Yeah, go ahead and do that, you bitch. <laughs> do you 
leave people? <laughs> yeah, he's very obviously cheating on me. Oh, oh, who's cheating? Yeah, do that. Everyone will love you when you do that. <laughs> Just get on and you, you, you do your own work. Don't worry, if, if, if that person's cheating over you, they'll be found out when they go for their pilot's exam. <laughs> right? <laughs> yep. This is from Elena in Little Rock, Arkansas. You ever been to Little Rock? Oh, yeah. Have you ever been to the town yeah. of Little Rock? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Dear Craig and Jeff, when's the best time to let my boyfriend know that I'm dumping him? Oh, I'd say uh, 12.37 Eastern. <laughs> Eleanor in Little Rock, Arkansas. Hey, Eleanor's boyfriend. <laughs> CBS cares. <laughs> uh, this is from Karina in Cape Corral. In, uh, Cape, oh, Cape Corral. Is it Cape Corral or Cape Coral? Cape Coral, I think, in Florida. Is it Cape Coral or Cape Coral? Coral, sure, we'll go with that. <laughs> well, Cape Coral sounds more astronauty, though. You know, Cape Coral, Florida. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, you know, that, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no, coral's more oceany. <laughs> well, that's because you get coral in the ocean. You know, coral is made up of live uh, things that go like that. So I always keep a lot of coral around the house. <laughs> a lot of people, a lot of people, you can't do, the coral's protected, you can't touch it now. Coral's protected, it's a protected thing. People used to use it for ashtrays. You go into their house and, and there'd be things going like that. You ever uh, make a wax impression of coral? Oh yeah, yeah, you can. Uh, dear Craig and Jeff, I originally planned on changing my last name to my fiance's, but it sounds terrible. Do you think he'd be offended if I ask him to change his to mine instead? <laughs> nah, you, you go ahead. That'll be fine. Wait, would you change your name if you got married? From Jeff Peterson to Jeff... Steinberg? You're dating someone called Steinberg? Maybe. Who? Joe Steinberg. <laughs> From account? Yeah, You're dating right. Joe Steinberg yeah, from yeah. account? Yeah, he's a good man. I didn't even know he was gay. Yeah, Neither he's... does his wife. Well, she knows now. Yeah, she knows now. <laughs> All right, this is from Maria in Duluth in Minnesota. You ever been to Duluth? Oh, uh, I love yeah, Duluth. Another place, huh? Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm in charge of planning my sister's bachelorette party. Any ideas on what we should do? <laughs> Jeff? You should have wax impressions of penises. There you go. That's what you should have. That'll be a great lap. This is from Brandy in Nashville, Tennessee. I don't know if you can tell, but Brandy's a tit. Uh, oh, no, it's a, that's a hummingbird, isn't it? It's a hummingbird. No, I beg your pardon. <laughs> Hi, Craig and Jeff. My mom turns 50 the day after you do. Ugh. <laughs> so I'm 50 this year, man. 50, I'm, in May the 17th this year, I'm 50. 50. That's a real, that's a milestone. Wait, yeah. stop, no, look, let me, let me explain something to you. It is not helpful when people applaud you for not dying. It doesn't make you feel young. People are going to start saying, oh, you're sprightly for your age. 50, 50, me, the kid. Well, let, let's not push it. I mean, come on. 50, though, I mean, pretty amazing. Two, I'm going to be 50. It's a real milestone, man. We're all pulling for you. <laughs> That's my problem. You turn 50, nobody's pulling for you, you know what I mean? <laughs> that, was a, that was a bit of a sexual innuendo there, in case you didn't know. Oh, yeah, I heard it. All right, okay. Hi, Craig and Jeff. My mom turns 50 the day after you do. What should I get her to mark the milestone? Oh. I don't know. What, what if... People who, I don't know. I don't know, I, I'll have to start hanging around with people who are 50. <laughs> what do they like? Wax, soup, wax soup. Get, get her some soup. Yeah, yeah soup. <laughs> yeah, soup. soup. That's what I'd like, soup. And uh, maybe, uh, maybe a nice warm blanket or something. <laughs> maybe a wax impression. Yeah, all right. All right, we're out of time, so I'll just do a couple more. Uh, this is from Jessica in Kalamazoo in Michigan. It says, uh, Hi, Craig and Jeff. I don't really understand color blocking. Can you explain? Yeah, color here, color here. They block together. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Uh, 
finally, this is from David in Waco, Texas. Waco, Texas. Dear Craig and Jeff, on a scale from one to ten, how offensive is it to buy your girlfriend a bikini wax from her for her birthday? <laughs> the audience reaction from the ladies there gives you a clue. <laughs> it depends, though, I say, to be fair. If your girlfriend is... Uh, it can be appropriate if your girlfriend is a Kardashian. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. <laughs> You're gonna need a lot of wax, though. Right, Jeff? That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. My first guest uh, is in a new series. Um, it's called Magic City. It premieres tomorrow night on Stars. And have you seen the trailer for this thing? This, have you seen this trailer? It's for this? unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> I, I can't show it to you tonight, but it's. Uh, <laughs> but th this show looks great, doesn't it? I can't wait. I can't. I mean, the. the whoa. <laughs> yeah, there's people in it go like this. Whoa. <laughs> Please welcome my friend Jeffrey Dean Morgan, everybody. Jeffrey Dean. Is that the uh, is that the new Google glasses? No, no, these are the same glasses I wore last time. Remember, they enlarge everything if you look. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> listen, I know that you're suffering. You have a sore knee and you have a terrible yeah, cold. I'm falling apart just today. That, that that listen, that's a preview, dude. I am going to be 50 in about a, a couple of weeks. Happy and... birthday, almost. Yeah, that... I'm going to be 46, so I, I'm feeling all those kind of similar aches yeah, that's and when pains. It starts. It's, it starts. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, this this morning I just really was bending down to pick something up and mm. the knee like and made a sound that uh, do, you know what, do you know what i did oh lord do you know what i did i was at a traffic light the other day <laughs> and i was at the stoplight and i found myself because i saw that there was a girl looking at me i was going like this <laughs> <laughs> and i thought she thinks i'm hot and then yeah I'm, yeah no, you're for like, sure I'm, for sure no and she's like oh she went home and said you're not gonna believe you, the, I, hot, the hotness that is that, craig ferguson yeah, that's right. <laughs> i saw a hot grandpa today. <laughs> I think he was working on his dentures. Yep. <laughs> you still got all your own teeth, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, there still, you are, they're, they're, they're wooden, but they're, uh, they're, they're mine. But they're yours. They are mine. So how did you get your cold? Um, I, you know what? It's been that, uh, you know, the press frenzy, you know, oh, and not man. sleeping. But and this show looks great. I, think, I mean, it really does. Thank you. I, I, I'm very proud I mean, of it. I mean, it's very... It where is it? What... Time is it set? It, it kicks off in uh, 1959. Uh, it looks so fantastic. Yeah, yeah. You know, they did this thing. They used the actual lenses they used in The Godfather. So it has kind of this sort of rich feel to it. And and that period was such kind of a cool, classy, yeah, I know. you know, I don't really belong there, but uh, cool and classy <laughs> nonetheless. You, uh, you, you can't have your beard in that. No, I just do this in between just to see you. <laughs> But obviously, he doesn't agree with you. It's giving you a cold, and your knees popped out. Ah, uh, it's. I've, <laughs> you're wanna, you wanna you're absolutely you right. Probably use that. Oh yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, that, that. Oh, hey. <laughs> That's not enough. <laughs> there we go. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, listen, if you've got a cold, you should probably take here, stick these on. Uh, oh, you know, this is... Yeah. Holy... Yeah. No, hey, no, we can no, cut no, like crap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whoa, man. What an awesome idea. Right? I love you, man. Ah. This is the greatest... Charming. <laughs> 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 
I don't have <laughs> stars. I just <laughs> love you. It's, uh, it smells very antiseptic. Oh man, I am yeah, yeah. I am clean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I'm a, little, I'm a little too clean, actually. I, I take your glasses away from me. I don't want to get them all well, Purell, uh, uh, sanitizer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so real quick, because you brought it up uh, at the beginning of the show, this this woman in McDonald's at the, at McDonald's that hid the lotto ticket. Mm -hmm. She doesn't have it. Give me a <laughs> break. Yeah. <laughs> I, Come on. You know, I don't want to talk out of but clearly that bitch is crazy. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. I, can't, I can't people are, are buying into that. No. But... Ridiculous. Yeah. And yet she's getting her face all over the yeah. nose. <laughs> Who buys that? Anybody? Anybody? Yeah. Well, I think she's probably trying to spin it into a book deal. And, and if it was there, I'd be at that McDonald's right now eating McNuggets like a... <laughs> no. I don't think we can talk too much about uh, fast food outlets. Oh, no, we can't. Why? What happened? Well, I... <laughs> well, like, let, oh, let, no, let, none let, of this segment's worth it. <laughs> let me explain to you how, how commercial television works. All right, works. right, uh, okay. Uh, the large companies, <laughs> such as fast food outlets, who make an excellent product, by the way, <laughs> they, uh, they um, you know, they buy advertising. Right, right. So, anyway, how are things on stars? <laughs> well, we can talk about fast food all day long. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's not a, it's not a network, but... Star Where do you shoot this thing? Miami. Oh, man. Miami, Miami, actually, in my... You know, I've not spent any time there. And it, it really is Fantastic a cool thing. place. Very, very cool. And we use the heck out of it. Yeah. <laughs> it's very... No, it's very... I got a tattoo. Yeah. You did? I got a tattoo. My first tattoo I got in Miami. I would have got another one. The, you, I was, uh, is it still there? Did you cover it? It's a anything? tattoo. Yeah. Is it, you know, is you it, well, you, know, you could have covered I, it. I didn't, I didn't get hey, one of the. Oh, I got I, one of those kick tattoos. I've made, Miami. I've made bad choices on tattoos and had to recover them. And Miami could be a choice uh, of not a great tattoo. No, no, no. You're wrong, man. I, it was a good tattoo. I had a great time. Okay. And, uh, I did. It's know, a little bit of Vegasy sometimes. That could have been one of those nights. Well, I wouldn't get a tattoo in Vegas. No, I do what I. <laughs> But, but Says a guy that's got like three tattoos from Vegas. You get three? <laughs> How many tattoos do you have? Uh, one, two, three, like five. Yeah, well. But, uh, as as I'm know? taking inventory. Well, not off. No. No, oh, man, that's a sign of it. Well, because I'll tell you, uh, because I've gotten tattoos before and then had to cover them due to circumstances beyond my control, like breaking up with a girl. Ah, or, you know, yes. Yeah, see, yeah. now that was, for instance, it a used Miami to, tattoo. It used to be a great line, though, if you meet a girl in a bar and you go, let's go get tattoos, that's how you can tell she's classy. If she says yes, <laughs> boom. That's the one. <laughs> I think oh. I may have dated her once. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we both have. Yeah. Been, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have to take a commercial break. I don't yep. know if you're familiar with the concept. It's, uh... Oh, that network thing. Yeah. No fast food and commercials? Come on. Hey, congratulations on the next two years. Yeah, yeah, thanks very much. That's awesome. Guys, I don't know if I'll make it, though. I'm 50. <laughs> no, 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 no. You'll be here, because I'm going to come visit. Really? I'll keep you alive. We'll uh, be like two old men. We'll be limping. I'll be yeah. in a wheelchair. Like, hey! <laughs> Remember that time we got a tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. <laughs> that was <laughs> We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Crazy. He's, he's I know he's funny. He's funny. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome back. I'm with uh, some actor, right, man? And, uh, how you doing? All right. I'm doing okay. How are you? Yeah. Good. We're out of time. Yeah, it's been a pleasure being here. <laughs> well, I'd like to get that in early because usually it takes a long time for us to get you know things wound up. So it does. It does take us a while. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I see we're out of time, and then you're like, oh. And I gotta want to go, and I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> He you, always says that, he's and he always to. leaves, and then he never calls. <laughs> That's not true. I call all the time. You just don't pick up the phone. Well, here's why, because I see it's you calling. <laughs> <I'm> like, 
Color like, it's that guy that's got the wax is killing our relationship. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so what do you want? You want a mouth organ, awkward pause, uh, or uh, go for the big cash prize? Man, I was all fired up to do the mouth organ because I have no musical talent whatsoever. Well, that's usually what helps you. But uh, <laughs> but but you do have a cold, and I don't want you... Could, that, could, could that not be... Uh... Well, I don't want you putting organs near your mouth if you get a cold. <laughs> Or bad, are you feeling bad for the organ at this point? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do big cash prize. What time is the Shutters Day? It's time for the big cash prize. All right, big cash prize. Here's our. I feel word. good. Yeah. Fifty American dollars, five zero American dollars in quarters in a bag with a dollar sign on. Man, I can park anywhere for like a month. Exactly. In LA. <laughs> All right, there's two ways to win. You can either guess what's in my box or you can answer a question. Guess what's in my box is a little more complicated. I imagine a box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You try and guess what's in it. If you're right, Jeff will tell us. You win the $50. If you're wrong, something awful happens to you. I'm going to go with uh, the box in your head. Ooh. Okay, because this is a pretty easy question. Oh, then let's go with the easy right. question. I, can I, need, I need some parking money. All right. <clears throat> I'm getting ready to say some. No, 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 no more. <laughs> right. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. What European country would you travel to in order to attend the annual goat tossing festival? That would be Scotland. Wait. <laughs> would it be Greece? <laughs> France? <laughs> I said goat tossing. <laughs> Greece? France or Spain? Where would they toss a goat, as it were? Greece, France, or Spain? Do you want a clue? Yeah. Spain. Uh, Spain! Yes, the correct answer! Spain! He's a very funny comedian. He's at the Acme Comedy Club, uh, Club Company. It's called the, is it Club or Company? In, it's Minneapolis. He's, he's, I don't even know if he's a comedian. He's, uh, I don't know if we've got a guest. My next guest is a very funny comedian. He's at the Acme Comedy Company in Minneapolis, which is in Minnesota, May the 22nd through the 26th. Look, even if he's not funny, it's going to be a relief after this, isn't it? <laughs> Please welcome Brian Miller, everybody. Brian Miller. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Yeah. Excellent. Great to be here. Uh, I'm not wearing any underwear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's actually because my wife and I are at the end of a laundry cycle right now. <laughs> The first one of us to acknowledge that they're out of clothes, they're gonna have to do all that laundry. <laughs> Not gonna be this guy. My wife thought she won the whole thing last night. I got out of the shower and I dried myself off with like six or seven washcloths. <laughs> and I went out into the living room and there she was, laying on the couch eating a big bag of Cheetos, you know, in her wedding dress. <laughs> Looking pretty smug. I didn't say a word to her. I just put on an old Halloween costume and went to bed. <laughs> Which did backfire on me at like two in the morning when I got up to pee and I walked by a mirror and I freaked myself out. <laughs> Oh, my God, it's a sexy nurse. <laughs> She's not wearing any underwear. She's got a secret. <laughs> my wife uh, is a vegetarian. I am not. <laughs> Causes some friction, uh, although it gave me a great idea. I'm going to open up a vegetarian compromise restaurant. <laughs> yeah, we... Uh, <laughs> We're still gonna serve meat, but only the parts the animals can afford to live without. <laughs> you 
Yeah, and then out back, we'll have the world's saddest petting zoo. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we have an agreement. I can still cook meat at our house, uh, but we have to do all of our grocery shopping at the co-op. Uh, crazy expensive. Like you go to buy a jar of olives, it's like eight dollars. But the whole reason it's eight bucks is there's a little sticker on the label that says like, no Malaysian children were harmed in the making of these olives. <laughs> Which is great, you know, but eight bucks. But it's either that, or you go down to the regular grocery store, you get the $2 sad Malaysian kid olives. <laughs> yeah, you feel like a jackass all day long. It's like meet me in the middle co-op, you know? What about like $5 olives, and the Malaysian kids just kind of hate their jobs like the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, that's fair trade. <laughs> I have a very uh, dark sense of humor. Uh, I know why. It's because I grew up in a funeral home. <laughs> I'm the first member of my family not to be an undertaker. It's weird growing up like that. It's tough. Like at the holidays, you got to pretend to be all excited about your Christmas presents, you know? <laughs> oh, thanks, everybody. More gold teeth than engagement rings. <laughs> it's bad enough none of my suits ever fit quite right, you know? Wasn't all bad, you had the hearse. Love the hearse. That's the best part of the whole deal. It's a great dating car. Yeah. Well, nobody comes a-knockin' when the hearse is a-rockin'. Oh, I'm a strange guy, I know. I'll tell you, my wife is stranger. She turned to me the other day, out of nowhere, with this big smile on her face, and she said, honey, don't you think it'd be romantic if we died together? <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, baby, you know. Or I could drive. <laughs> Thank you guys very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? We always do that, what did we learn on the show? And then we never actually talk about what we learned on the show. No, that's true. But you know what we did learn on this show? What was that? We learned a new way of cussing. <laughs> and I, for one, I'm delighted. <laughs> I didn't really get it right there, did I? The hell? Well, I was... I was... <laughs> do you know why I was kind of put off? Because I suddenly realised this is a bit like a false breast. <laughs> Why, it is. You know, I, I, I mean, I, I've lived in L.A. for 17 years now. I know a false breast when I see one. <laughs> and this looks a bit like one. Even right down to the robot microchip in the, uh, in the front for detecting prey. <laughs> You're awesome, man. Did you have a nice birthday? I had a great birthday. Do you like the present I got you? Yeah. What is it? <laughs> what you're giving to me right now. Companionship? If that's what you, you want. You want to call it? Uh, no, I, I, I got you this. Oh, thanks. It's a, it's a breast. <laughs> you can wear it in here, and it'll look like you're... It'll, it'll look exactly the same. I am robot, hear me roar. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.